Hello everyone, this is Carla. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be showing you some of my nifty thrifty finds and then I'm going to start upscaling them or you know changing them, repurposing them, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to start with these bunnies and if these look familiar it's because I had these and I tried to decorate them for Christmas and they were really cute. Really really cute. If you have you know a cottage theme or something going it would have been really cute but they didn't sell. So spring is here so I took off the Christmas decor and I'm going to have to sand them up and we're going to do something with those. Something a little different and springy. Now, also, I've been thrifting, and I found this little bunny. I think it's so sweet. I've been cleaning everything up today. So I'm going to repaint this, and uh, I'm not sure what color, how I'm going to do it. And you could either put a succulent or a flower. I don't know. We'll see. But that's one of my nifty thrifty finds. And this bird, I found him, and I just love him. My mission, I went out... Um, yesterday, day before yesterday, and my mission was to find birds and bunnies. Well, I had much more luck with birds than I did bunnies, and they were not even that plentiful. But anyway, I found this bird. He's resin. I'm going to repaint him and get him ready for spring. I found this bunny. This bunny's kind of a planter, and you can see it's got some kind of imperfection things on there. And that's because um, when I bought it, it had like a transfer on there. And it was like, this is an older uh, bunny because it had like a cross stitch, bright red flower with bright blue leaves had that on both sides and even down the ears and so I soaked him in Dawn uh, detergent water and uh, had a little scraper and I got all that off because I'm going to repaint it so it's okay if he has some little imperfections on there and oh another thing found this. I'm in love with this. <laughs> I, in fact, it won't bother me at all. This doesn't sell. I found this at a flea market and it is made in Italy and it was even more tarnished than what you see right here, but I took some Brasso and took some of it off. I didn't want all of it off and in fact, I almost wish I would have left more of the dark on, but I think that is just beautiful. If it doesn't sell, it's going in my house. And let's see. I have this pitcher. It's like a watering pitcher. And it's not bad. It's got these tulips on there, but I think I'm going to paint it. And we shall see what happens with that. Okay, <laughs> and let's see. I found this pottery pot. This was like a dollar ninety nine. I found it at a flea market, and it could be okay like that. But I think I'm going to be painting it, and we shall see how that turns out. I don't know exactly what it will be. Then I got these okay i am so excited about these when i was looking on pinterest i saw some uh, mattress wire spring crafts for spring <laughs> and they were so cute but you know i've never seen any of these in one of the flea markets i was in there was a booth that had these in a basket i only got two because i thought you know i don't know I'm going to work this, but I just think it's darling. So I ended up with those two things to make something out of. So that's what I'm going to show you for now. And when I get started, I'll be coming back to show you how we transform these objects. Well, I've decided my first project is going to be this watering pitcher. And I think I am going to paint it. This is a new paint I picked up at Hobby Lobby. It is folk art chalk paint, and it is a French linen. So I'm going to try to get that all painted, and then we'll see what to do next. So I've gone ahead and painted 
painted many of the things that I showed you. Now, I had not shown you these birds that I had picked up, but I went ahead and I painted them with the same color. I painted this little bunny. This is a mineral, uh, I think it's Waverly, yes. Waverly chalk paint. This is before the white wax and this is after the white wax. So I did white wax on the bunny and three of the birds. You can see that it just gives it the, a little bit of detail and a, a soft look. If you compare it to this one, you can see the difference with the white wax and this is just the paint. Now on these birds and this chicken, I'm going to use a dark wax. Now this is the uh, the planter I showed you. It looks like we need to dry that a little bit there. The planter that I showed you that was, um, you know, kind of this brown color. I didn't get that colored very well, did I? That's okay. But I'm also going to use black wax, not dark wax. I would have used dark wax, but I cannot find my dark wax. So anyway, we'll use the black wax. I used it on something else. It's going to give it a grayer color more than a, um, a brownish color, aged color. So I'm gonna try it on the birds and if I don't like it, I can still go over it with a white wax. So we're gonna let this dry. I'm gonna get my heat gun out here where that one spot was because I was planning on putting the wax on there. I think I'm gonna dab that a little bit actually. Where was that? Oh, right here. That might be a little much in there. And it's okay if it leaves a little bit of texture because it's got some texture in it. And when I put the black wax on there, it would also bring out some of those details. So I'm going to use my little embossing heat tool and kind of dry that up a little bit more. Right there. do this one last and we'll set that over there set my little birds over there i don't want to get black wax on them so i think i'm actually going to take them off i got this little lazy susan at an estate sale and i just love it it comes in so handy let me get this down a little bit so you can see what i'm doing so here i've got my diy black wax and i've got this brush not sure where I got it, Project Source. I think I've had it for a while, so I'm really not sure. Looks like my little Lexi's been up here. I don't wanna get cat hair. Mixed in my black wax. Okay, that looks pretty clean. So I'm gonna take my brush and take the black wax. I'm gonna put it on the chicken first because I know what this is gonna do. It's gonna give it kind of a, a granite look. So we're just gonna, don't be afraid. <laughs> we're gonna go all over this chicken pretty generously because when I wipe it off, I really wanna see some of that black wax down in those crevices. And when you put on the wax, especially this little chicken has so many details with the feathers, I think it's really gonna be pretty but you want to put enough so when you do wipe it off, you will have your detail show. I'm gonna have to kind of get in there with my brush. And lots of little nooks and crannies down there. I don't wanna miss any. Okay, I'm gonna turn this guy over this way. Hang on to it like this, and I can always go back up there. I get under that little, I don't know what it's called, but we used to call it a goozle when I was growing up. I don't know if it's really called a goozle. That little thing that hangs down under their, their chin. We raised red chickens one time, my dad did. They were like pets. We had a gazillion of them, it seems like, I don't know. 
I was young. Oh, see, my hands are taking that off, so I want to go back over that. I'm going to let this set a little while. So, because if you took a cloth now, you could pretty much get it all wiped off. So I'm gonna move that over, and I don't know, like I said, how this is going to turn out, but we're gonna try it on these little birds. I think it will give it more of a gray, and there's not as much detail in these birds as there is on that chicken for sure, but we might get it to show up like I did on the uh, other birds when I did the whitewash. So we're gonna just hang on to that. Get that down in there. Make sure I get the wings. And I'm gonna have to let this dry a little bit too. And I'm thinking this, um, brush you clean this in mineral oil and it's really hard to get all the mineral oil out of the brush so it feels kind of oily but that won't be too bad because I'm thinking that'll probably be good for cleanup right but it might also make it uh, wipe off more because of the oil so I think I may let them sit a while before I try to wipe those off. Now the chalk paint, when we put that over here, the Waverly chalk paint, that won't matter quite as much. Now the chalk paint, um, we're not going to add a top coat sealer because your wax also acts as a little bit of a sealer. And since I'm not putting like any transfer or anything onto the planter, this will be fine. Now, if I were going to be putting a transfer on there, I definitely would be um, sealing it. See, this feels really oily, even to try to pick up. Got his head there. Give that a swipe. And back there on his tail. And I'm just going to try to take my brush, move these back a little bit. And my hands are a mess, but that's okay. We're not finished. So I did not paint the bottom of that. So I'm going to put this little cloth up there. So it won't get black wax on the bottom. Oops, sorry if I hit that. Let's bring this up a little. And this is my planter. And I'm just going to take this black wax and give it a coat. And we'll see what happens. I think it's going to be pretty. This is, uh, I don't know what kind of design you would call it. it. It almost looks like a basket weave on the bottom. But then some of the other things, I'm not real sure. They look like plants or just designs. One to me looked like a hieroglyphic. <laughs> I thought, well, that's interesting. But I don't know if I get to it, I'll show you. I don't know if they're bugs or what. Get a little bit on that bottom. I am having so much fun with this. We were going to have um, estate sales one, actually, this weekend. But the weather got pretty nasty and so they decided to cancel it till next weekend and that means next weekend we have two so <laughs> I'll be busy next weekend I I have a neighbor and I think she's gonna go with me I'm not gonna try to get down in there with well I might it might look better if I I don't want to do the whole thing in this so I might not really doesn't have to be, but since I'm getting there anyway, let's just give it a quick coat on the inside. That'll make it more gray than that stark white, which will complement the outside. So I'm just going to go in there. I'm not going to be adding much more wax to the brush because I really don't think it needs it. I just maybe don't want it stark white. 
So we'll do this. I think there's enough on this brush that it's gonna do what I need it to do. And that's just kind of coat it just a little bit. Let me look around in there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now where I've had my fingers, I'm gonna go back and kind of make sure, dab it a little bit where maybe the white didn't get covered. I might add a little bit over some of this texture. Okay, let's see. Move my little chicky over a little bit. Okay, I'm getting out of frame. We'll just pull this back. There's some white fingerprints there. Okay, we're going to let that set. Then um, after it sits for a little while, I'll come back to you and we will rub it off and see what it looks like. So after letting that set for a little while, I'm gonna go ahead and I guess I'll take this cloth and try to wipe some of that off and let's see what we get. I'm gonna start up here. I'm gonna hope I didn't leave it on there too long. Hmm, it really does soak into that. This is gonna give me a really neat, I think, concrete look. Okay, let's rub this off. And it's all gonna be different. Okay, there's that part I said kind of look like hieroglyphics, but I don't know what it is. It's just a different kind of little planter. I'm gonna go inside so when I put my hands in there, at least I won't get it all over me every time. I'm just kind of wiping that out with this cloth. These little cloths my husband got for me, I think they're called little wipe towels. I think he got them at Harbor Freight, but I could probably find them any store. I don't know, Walmart probably has them. Or Target or whoever carries paint. Well, paint, I don't know if Target carries paint. Okay, I'm gonna come up here. And the paint on the original planter, I mean, it was a different colors and kind of splotchy on there. So I'm kind of liking that. the side and if I wanted to you know if I'm not happy with the way maybe some of it did or didn't rub off I could always go back in and you could put more on there and rub it off and if you put like a clear wax over some of your uh, dark waxes or whatever it will remove take off some of the wax so if you needed to take off some of the wax you could add a clear wax on there and rub it off. I'm liking this. I like the way it's discolored and looks old and yeah. All right, I think I'm about done. Now, this up here, see how this is kind of two-toned and splotchy? That's because it was painted that way. It had, I think, gold and then kind of a rust color so maybe whatever the paint was absorbed it differently i don't know but okay i'm liking that i'm liking that a lot so there's one and now let's turn this over let's see let's turn this around it's got lots of different little things on there yeah this one let's do a bird and i I hope we can get this off of here. Oh yeah. See, I noticed that there, it was kind of oily and that's what, you know, kind of worried me. I'm gonna have to do a little more research and ask, you know, after you've cleaned your brushes with a mineral oil and you do the best to get it out. I mean, 
I uh, take a paper towel usually and douse it on there many times. And I'm thinking about taking some Dawn detergent after I've done that and just let that soak a little bit, see what happens. I don't know. Okay, now I'm not sure I'm liking this because I'm not getting as much contrast. So you know what I'm probably gonna do. I just stuck my brush in the mineral oil. I think I'm gonna take some uh, white wax and go over that a little bit, maybe on the wings on the tail maybe, just to give it a little bit of contrast. This really did soak into that. It just gives it a dark gray, and you can see some of the dark wax, but um, yeah, I don't see a lot of detail on this. You can see. He's mostly pretty much a dark gray. So I'm gonna let that dry a little more. Let's work on our little chicken over here. I'm gonna get, so you can see the wax kind of up under his wings. And I don't know if the oil in the brush has anything to do with that. Okay, put him over here. Him over there. I've got on my paint sweatshirt jacket, so <laughs> if you see this in a lot of my videos, because it doesn't matter if it gets paint or wax or whatever on it. It's black. The only thing that shows up bad is my cat's hair, because <laughs> she's so fluffy. She's so pretty. She was up here, but she couldn't find a place to hang out. And I like that. See, this has a lot of detail. So you're getting that shadowy effect down in the little crevices. Yeah, yeah. I think it'd be better to do this on something that does have more texture to it. I'm liking this little rooster a lot. Yeah, when I bought the rooster, I don't know if I showed it to you in one of my videos or not. Sometimes I show my hauls, my thrifting hauls, and then if I start doing it quite often, then I'm not sure which ones I've shown and which ones I haven't. So I'm not sure about this little guy, but he was brown and I don't know, he wasn't very attractive, but I think you're a pretty nice looking little chicken. Now, I like that. I really like the way the dark wax acted on all these details. Now, what I'm gonna do, let's put that like that. Oh, I love that chicken. That's gorgeous, and I like this. I'm happy with this. That's fine, and even after it sits, well, I can buff it up, and it'll be a little shinier. But these little guys, I'm not really sure what to do. I could do, hmm, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go wash my hands again if I'm gonna be using white, and I'll be right back. So here goes. We're gonna learn together here. And see, this still to me is so oily. Um, I'm gonna try to get some more of that oil out on this paper towel. Okay, I'm gonna have to go for it. I'm gonna take some white wax here. And we're gonna put it on these little birds. And we're gonna see what happens. I'll put some on the tail, on the wings. And when you rub it, it will, you know, rub off more. So I don't know, we may like this. I, I kind of even like the contrast of before we've even wiped it off. Let's get a little more on these wings, I think. Um, 
maybe a little bit under here. And the feet, a little bit on the head. Okay, let's take this one, put some on the wings. These were kind of a um, shiny ceramic glazed little bird before I started on them and I had painted them with chalk white paint. I decided I didn't want all my birds to be white. So that's when I started thinking, ah, oh, we'll paint some of them with mineral paint. Then we'll use the different waxes on them and just see how they turn out because I'll probably be putting these into little arrangements with some bird nests. I've got some bird nests off Amazon. I'm pleased with those. Put a little down here on his neck, a little up here on his head. And then we'll just kind of see how it goes. Maybe a little on his beak. Come back, come back. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I need this on, but I'm not going to stick it back in the oil yet. We'll let that set a while, then we'll rub it off. Okay, we let that dry a little bit, and I washed my brushes and got them all dried out a little bit. So I'm going to come over here and just kind of gently take this off. See how we're going to like this. I'm gonna I'm gonna rub some of it over the places we didn't put it, but I really want some of that dark to still show through. Hey little guy. Yeah, this is better I think than just that almost uh, dark gray. It gives a little bit of contrast. And I'll put his little head down in here over the face a little bit. Let me see. Yeah, I think that's looking better. I can do his face a little better, I think. Kind of smooth that out a little bit. now and he's still darker than the first ones that I did so he's a little bit different and I like that I think that's good they won't all be the same I get a little bit more off back here that dark wax is coming with it there we go and now let's do this one I still need a little bit on his face right there on the smooth that out. I'm going to get this one. And over his little face and head. This one I don't, I don't know, I kind of like it. Maybe it's just the bird, but I, this seems a little different. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just used to looking at that first one. Let's go back here. I'm not sure I got the back of the tail on the other one. We'll go back and look. I'll rub some of that down here on his belly a little bit. There we go with that one. Under his neck. Yeah, that looks good. Let me see. Yeah, I got his tail. Okay, now I want to show you, uh, remember the little fat chunky bird? Let me show you him. I did the mineral chalk paint, whoops, and then I did the white wax over him, and I like that really well. So, um, now I'm going to show you the last thing that I shared with you that I was so excited about were these two mattress springs that I found at a flea market. 
So that's going to be the next thing we put together and decorate. So hold on a little bit and I'll get that ready. So I've got my uh, mattress spring. I've got it all shined up. It's kind of rusty and crusty and I'm not going to paint it. I'm going to leave it just like that. And these bird nests, I got these off of Amazon. They came six in a package. Uh, and what I'm going to do to attach these, I'm just going to take the coil of this wire and I'm just going to try to take it and just kind of circle it in, weave it around until it's in there secure. And it's leaning a little bit this way and that's okay. It's okay if it tilts for me. Now, what I'm gonna do next is I went through a lot of my floral stems. I've been collecting flowers. Hobby Lobby said there's 50% off. So I got a couple of, um, Oh, they're kind of like a hanging type thing, but they have tons of these little sprigs on them. So I thought I just cut off one of each uh, floral stem that I got. And I thought, you know, it might look good to hang down on the bird nest. So I'm gonna raise this up since I got it a little bit higher on that spring. There we go. And I cut those off to see if I might wanna use those. This was from Hobby Lobby, and I might want to use some of those sprigs. Um, I had another sprig, but that's okay. This was off of a bush from Hobby Lobby. That might look pretty. These are from a little um, stem from Walmart. This is from the Dollar Tree. These are called, I think they're called, they're calling them Blooming Branches. I think they have another name, Pip Blooms or something like that. So I might use those, I don't know. And I found this at Hobby Lobby and I just love the Robin Egg Blue. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for. I might put some of that in there, I don't know for sure. And I ordered these little speckled eggs off of um, Amazon. I thought those would be cute in a little bird's nest and I'm not sure what bird I'm going to put in there I probably will put a bird but this is one that we just did I like that one and this is one that I picked up and I don't really want to paint him I just think he is the sweetest looking thing he does have a hole in top where you could put a little plant or something we'll get it put together then we'll decide plus I have another wire I'm not going to make it today but you know Whatever I use one in, I may use the other one for the other one. So what I'm gonna start with, I think, is I'm gonna start, I would like to get some floral going around. Um, do I want it going that way? This has such a good combination of flowers in it. I may need to go cut some more. I don't know if I got enough. Okay, and I like these. I could do something like that. Let's see what I'm doing here to put some flowers up there. And I love these from the Dollar Tree. Now, these are the white with a little bit of lavender on them. But you can get just uh, the lavender ones. And I have some of those, but I thought I would go just the white on this. So, I think, <laughs> let me get my glue gun on. I'm not sure I'm going to glue these in yet. I'm going to try just kind of placing them. I probably might need to cut some of this off. I think I will cut some of this stem off. And we might need to poke some of this. Okay, I want this to be like so all right so let's put see how this kind of weaves in there i need to cut more of that and i want it to curve around which is nice you can bend these so that would be a beginning then i think i might put the white one next i'm gonna push that up Push the leaves up there. I'm going to cut the stem 
about like so. And I'm thinking I'm gonna put that one. I want it to show, so let me see. I have to go down in the middle. Mm -hmm. Maybe over here? No. I want this to come in more. Let's just poke this in more. And I want this to come, I think, right through here. Yeah, that's pretty. There. And I love this whole um, floral branch that I got there because it's got so many different colors on it. And I thought this yellow then maybe would be pretty on top. I'm gonna push, push it up to the top so I can use most of it that I want. I'm gonna push these leaves up. I like these leaves, but I don't think I'm gonna have room for that. So I'm gonna cut it about right here for now. Keep that over there and I'm gonna take this this way and we're gonna put it, see if we can kind of weave it into that nest. I love these nests. This is, I've never done this before. So this is kind of fun to see how these really could just go in there. I may have to trim that off more. I'm going, there we go. Okay, I wanna turn this. Mm, coming out back here. I'm gonna bend it. Hopefully it will bend. And I might want that standing up a little bit, like so. Got that, okay. Leave it like that for now. And I might want a purple one to go in there because it's filling up pretty fast. So then I've got these little things I think are cute, which might go on either side. Um, I'm gonna go get a purple one. Okay, so these are also from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna cut off one of these stems. And I love the way they do the leaves on these too. I mean, it really looks like lavender. Kind of that duller little bit of green. And let's see where we might want that. Maybe up in here. Push my leaves up. And let's see, we want it to come through. I think I want it to come kind of through here. So I'm gonna come over here and try to weave that in there again. I think it's too long. We're gonna cut some more of that off. Come in here. And I want that yellow. We can push that lavender up a little. Bend it this way a little. There. That's looking pretty. Is that looking pretty? Yeah, I think so too. Okay, so if I have it like that, and up here, okay, I want to just hold some of these up because I'm not exactly sure how I want these. Um, That could work, but I do want some of these, whatever they're called in there. So I'm gonna cut some of that off. Cut a couple of them, one for each side. And this is when we need to get the price off there. Let's take off the tag. And there we go. And that's way too long. So let's take a bunch of that off. And we're gonna put this coming out this side. I like this because it has the brown stem, which to me kind of goes with that um, nest. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm gonna put this in my booth 
although I'm kind of liking it. <laughs> but I do have another one. That's all right. I can make two. Okay, let's see. We can put this one in here. And if I get this all together and decide I don't like the angle it is, I can always unscrew that from that coil and redo that. Okay, I'm liking that. Does it need more something, doesn't it? Okay, I know what it needs. It needs some of this. Okay, we're going to, I think we're gonna hot glue this in there. I'm not sure I wanna hot glue yet. I think I'll put that in there and then we're gonna cut one off of here. How big do we need that? It's not very big. Mm. That's too much. We have to, let's see. I think this much. We'll take about this much because I don't want to get too much. Let's take that and give that a trim right there. And we're going to put some of this. And this might even hang down a little. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's looking pretty. I kind of want this to go back this way, I think. There. This to be up a little more. There. Yeah, I think that's better. Now, you know, I'm not sure now if I'm going to need any of this hanging down unless I put it Oops, well, I don't have that glue jet or stuck in, really. Let's just put that there. Let's cut off just about this much. I'm just going to poke it in for now. Now, I am just going to... Uh, make it down. I'm not going to hot glue it. When I go off, I will go back and hot glue everything. I just know this video is getting kind of long, and so let's see. I want that to be more up. This nest is so easy to work with, ladies. I'm going to have that kind of I'm not sure. Coming off of there somehow. Maybe up here, that looks better. Stick it in up there and let it hang down the side, I think. And we can pull this all down a little bit. Yeah, and then um, I'm probably not gonna use this one. So let's just get another little piece. This one. I need it to kind of match. Um, I think we'll take, well, we'll cut this much and if I don't need it, we won't use it all. So we're gonna take right here, I'm gonna trim that off. I'm gonna put that up in here, like so. I think it's darling. Now, I'm going to put some, um, just your regular kind of brown moss in there before I put my eggs. So let me look for those. Okay. Um, let's see, here it is. My husband's getting ready to go get our grandchildren bring them over. I'm kind of excited. I haven't seen little Victor for a while, but weather and being sick. Let me see if this is too much. I want to put some of this in there so it kind of gives it a little bit of, oh yeah, that looks nice. Doesn't that look nice? And I want some of that to look messy because birds usually have little messy things coming out of their nest. And let's get all this out of the way. Now, if I take, oh, dropping my eggs, picked them up upside down probably going to put like three little eggs in there like so and oh I gotta pick up an egg I don't want to step on it okay got it 
Now, the only thing I have not, like I said, glued anything in, and I don't want to yet. Um, I think that would look pretty. I'm not, I don't need a lot of it. Maybe, let's see, let's just cut a little piece. And I'm thinking what I could do with it. These were 40% off at Hobby Lobby. I might just put a little strand in here. I would cut that. Hmm, I think I would cut it. It might be too long. Well, we'll cut it here and we can trim it if it is. On the very end of it, it has two of these little beads or whatever. And I'm going to put that, I think, like that. And if I just take this one and I could put it, I could put it in like that. Oh, I think that's pretty. Can you see? I'll raise this up a little bit. And now, like I said, I have not glued. I've got to decide which little bird I've got. This little bird, he's kind of big, isn't he? Cute, it's really cute, but he is kind of big. We sat him in like that. Or, oops, I pulled it all out. I like, or this little bird. Just have to set him up in there a little bit. I would take this egg out and put this little egg probably right in here, maybe under him a little bit. Okay, ladies, this is it. I think it turned out adorable. I love these little springs. I just think they're the cutest thing ever. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I kind of I've kind of taken you from start to finish with some of these things. And uh, here is the last thing we made. Now I want to show you what I did with some of the other things. So let's do just a little bit of review over the things that uh, we have recycled. Uh, thrifted, repurposed, any way you want to look at it. Okay, we're going to start with these rabbits. And I told you around Christmas, I did these up for Christmas and didn't have any luck with it. So I just took everything off, sanded them, and restained the bottom. I'm just going to leave them the way they are because I think they look cute, kind of mixed in with everything. Then if you recall, this is the picture. This is the picture that had the tulips on it. It was kind of a white with pink and green tulips. I painted this with the chalk paint. This is called French Linen, and it's by Waverly. And then I used an IOD transfer to put on the front. And um, I really like it. I really like it a lot. I think it turned out really cute. I like the color. I like the way the transfer went on. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This was the little uh, picture that I shared with you that I found and that I re-done uh, just a little bit. I put a little bit of Brasso on there and I just put some flower stems in there and I think that's gorgeous. Um, let's see if I can get that a little taller up here. But I think it's gorgeous just the way it is. So pretty. And then, okay, this little bunny, this is the one that... I had scraped off the transfer that had been on there with the red and blue kind of cross-stitched um, flowers and things that were on there from the transfer. And I had some succulents and I painted this, the French linen also. I didn't put any kind of wax on it. Tied a little jute bow around the neck and that's the way that turned out. And I've shared with you my little bird and I... I'm probably going to use him in some kind of an arrangement. He was painted uh, mineral and then I uh, used the white wax over him. And I really like the way that he turned out. Then the little bunny, if you remember this little bunny, it had 
think it had like a, a pink bow maybe or a blue bow and its eyes were colored may have had something in its ears I um, painted that with first I painted it with a uh, white chalk paint I decided I didn't want to keep it white so I painted it with the mineral and then I used the whitewash over it and I put some succulents and I got some rocks from the Dollar Tree and kind of put around the bottom. And I think that turned out really cute. And then, um, let's move this over. The little planter. As you recall, it was kind of a rusty burnt orange and had some yellows and things in it and I painted it white with chalk paint and went over it with a dark a black wax not dark wax and rubbed it off and we get this kind of concrete looking planter and I just put a floral stem down in that for now and I think that looks really nice as well and then my last thing that you just saw me make we made together is this little bird nest on this uh, mattress spring. And I tell you folks, I am in love with this. I just absolutely love the way this turned out. Now, the only thing I have to do to kind of finish this up is go back and hot glue everything into it. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was a little involved. It had a lot of things going on in it. And um, I hope, you know, you might want to get out and just try redoing things. And maybe you have some things around your house. Because I was thinking, you know, I think I've got some things back in a, a, a extra bedroom downstairs that I might want to get out and do some things with. I don't know. It sounds like fun. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, as I said. And if you did like it, could you please hit that little like button? I would appreciate that so much. And if you have not had a chance to subscribe, you might consider subscribing. I do a big variety of things. You know, it may be uh, the painting, the transfers, paper crafting. I'm going to be doing some Valentine cards really soon. So stay tuned and until next time, bye-bye.